Bonsoir. Bonsoir à tous. Bonsoir. Good evening to, good evening to all. Uh, I feel very uh, happy and uh, privileged to be, uh, to be here uh, tonight and to be assembly for this anniversary. Louder. Louder. So just a mic. Very close to mic. Like this? Yes. So again, honor and privilege to be, to, to be here tonight among this, uh, this assembly uh, for this, uh, this anniversary, this, uh, this celebration which is, uh, which is very important I think for, for the FACC uh, and privilege because I'm not directly uh, part of the, of the FACC uh, and uh, even though I'm not, as you gathered, I'm not a Yannick, uh, Larry spoke vividly about during uh, his remarks and even though I'm not sure uh, to, um, to be in a position to live up to the standards uh, which have been set up in his time as a director of the FACC of Cleveland, I will try uh, to, to, to earn, to deserve uh, the title uh, which, has just, which, has just, which has just been granted to me by Larry as a, a close friend of the uh, FACC. So to start with, I want to, to thank warmly uh, Larry and uh, Cedric uh, for this invitation and for putting uh, this event together uh, with the help of uh, important partners whose names are uh, behind me. Uh, I've already made a couple of visits uh, to Cleveland since uh, I've taken my new role. Uh, and in fact, my very first visit out of Chicago, uh, September 21, uh, was to Cleveland and was to CSU. So uh, it's a kind of uh, loop which I'm closing to, to today. I would not pretend uh, to have a full picture, neighbor, uh, neither of the local landscape nor of the opportunities uh, for new partnerships between France and the region, but among the clear lines of action here, and it's maybe uh, why uh, I have this title of close friend to the FACC, there's clearly since a year and a half uh, the developing of close working relations with business associations and with agencies to promote commercial exchanges and new investments here in Ohio and in France. It might be related to the fact that uh, right after my first visit to Cleveland, I had the chance to host in Chicago my Minister for Foreign Trade and Economic Attractiveness or Attractivity. I don't know what is the best word in English for this weird title for a minister, but still. The aim of uh, his visit was to encourage the resumption of trade flows, of investments, and to restore the pipeline of new projects uh, after uh, the pandemic. And uh, at that time, uh, we, we, we took a look at the potential, the resources uh, of the whole region of the Midwest. And uh, it was very clear to us uh, how uh, it was a good pick for him to be uh, in Chicago, in the Midwest, uh, at that time. And it is very much related to the fact that in the context of major technological transformations, uh, we want to see the French team spearhead with our US friends to transition towards more innovation and new ways of doing business. And the consulate in Chicago has the ambition to be part of this endeavor and is determined to help to identify opportunities and make French know-how, French expertise more visible here in Ohio. So part of my job today, part of my ambition in my role is to develop a more personal relation with Cleveland, with Ohio and with its with very influencers and to open up new perspectives. And there were no better partners than the new and improved FACC. <laughs> Larry and Cedric uh, to do this. So I'm thrilled to be back here in Cleveland for, uh, I think, what is a sixth visit to, to Ohio. And there are not many states in the jurisdiction of the country, but I visited six times since the last 18 months. And I'm thrilled to be here because, thanks to the resolve of the FACC of Cleveland, Thanks of the determination of the whole French network, which is represented here tonight by our people from Columbus, thanks to this collective determination, we launched an initiative aiming at acting together to multiply the potential of a rich and ancient relationship. Indeed, we, we, we looked at what what happened during the last decades, and it was clear that France and Ohio have a very close relationship rooted in multiple partnerships, crossed investments, joint efforts to promote innovation. I had the chance to, to visit a, a very impressive factory uh, today, showing this relationship 
and this partnership towards innovation between, between France and, uh, and the region of Cleveland. Thank you again. And today, as France and the US are collaborating to find new solutions adapted to the economic challenges linked to the end of the pandemic and linked to the fight against climate change, the economic ties between France and Ohio deserve to be highlighted with three objectives. Restore the volume of trade between France and Ohio to the level of 2019. Sustain the flow of investments benefiting job creation. And capitalize on our know-how to meet new technological challenges. And so it is with this goal that the year 2023 will be used to give greater visibility to this relationship between France and Ohio and to lay the foundation for new partnerships. <coughs> I have to confess that it is a quite flexible and distant understanding of what 2023 means as basically it started mid-2022 to be honest with a very symbolic milestone uh, which was the resumption of a direct flight between Cincinnati and, and Paris in August 2022 and I think it's, it's quite telling. And the other milestone being in 2024 as the 50th anniversary of an important French-American company in Ohio uh, called CFM uh, International. So we're going a bit slightly beyond 2023, uh, but we thought it uh, would definitely uh, worth it. And as I said, uh, in, in Ohio, France uh, can rely on a very dynamic network. Two consular agencies, one here in Cleveland and one in Cincinnati. The chapter of the French-American Chamber of Commerce here in Cleveland, the chapter of the European-American Chamber of Commerce in Cincinnati, and two, uh, uh, two representatives of, uh, of our network of French foreign trade advisors, which is the best translation I, I found, Isabel. So Isabel is one of them. Uh, and uh, again, we're, we're contributing uh, very actively to, to, to this network. So our objective is to act collectively uh, amongst us, French network here, but collectively with our US partners, to make France better known and to make our Ohio friends think France when they want to do business. A lot of them are thinking about France when they want to, to do some tourism abroad in, in Europe, but we, we do want uh, our friends here in Ohio to think about France uh, to, do, to do business. So we'll mobilize these resources of this uh, network here uh, in Ohio, but of course, we will make the best out of the resources we have in Chicago, uh, in New York with Business France, uh, and uh, in Washington uh, to, uh, to sustain uh, this, uh, this effort. Here, I uh, will stop very soon uh, to leave, uh, to give the floor to Cedric, but before this, I would like to uh, to pay tribute to uh, Larry Miller uh, because he highlighted uh, the work of many people who were involved uh, for a period of time with the FACC and he just forgot to mention that he was around all along and what we see today are also his own efforts coming to fruition so thank you very much in his relatively new role as honorary consul uh, of France here uh, in Cleveland. Uh, his commitment to fostering the relation between France and Ohio. We couldn't, we couldn't think of a better choice to liaise between what is happening here and which concerns France, be it business opportunities, possible cooperation with local authorities, with universities, and the consulate in Chicago. So thank you very much, Cedric.